Uh, yes, uh, it's not the opening animation. There's uh, a couple, few animations in, in the film. Uh, if you were here last year, you would have seen Conquest for the Brave that Debbie uh, and the Spasm Films created, which is uh, absolutely fantastic. That's our film here. Uh, that's absolutely amazing. They, they created that for The Witches of the Sands. Uh, they've got a new film uh, which is showing... Saturday. Saturday. Fantastic. Uh, so go and see that. Uh, this is the uh, latest animation we got together. Uh, it's kind of very uh, Terry Gilliam. Uh, it, basically, the, the, the animation starts at the end of a scene set in 1950s uh, South Carolina, uh, where uh, these crazy monsters uh, kill a bunch of uh, kind of hillbillies, and then uh, sort of Lowell, who might be here somewhere, uh, plays the Maharaj, and we have a, a squid creature who uh, uh, then get in a car and go on this wacky journey uh, through to uh, the, the present day and uh, through a lot of uh, images that are in Which is the Sound, so you will see a lot of people you recognise, a lot of people here, Martin Payne, uh, Alan Bryce, etc, etc. Uh, Ian McCulloch, uh, Lawrence R. Uh, Harvey, loads and loads and loads of people. Uh, and, then, and then it ends with me, uh, my characters were coming out of the water. Uh, blah, 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 not very exciting. Um, uh, these guys uh, wrote the and performed the music uh, to the animation. Uh, so I will uh, pass it over to you and see if you want to say anything else. Mark the animator. Oh, oh really quickly. Uh, actually, uh, uh, oh, oh, I just must say really quickly. Uh, actually, yesterday, I say, hold on, so you get a little exclusive for Witches of the Sand. Um, uh, we signed a deal with Universal yesterday. Uh, yeah, yeah, do some music, but you might not be that excited. Do you? Uh, <laughs> because we, we've got a scene at the end of Witches with uh, uh, a, a headless corpse uh, reanimates itself and puts its head on and then calls it Excalibur from outer space. And, uh, and then Excalibur arrives and it, it, it turns into a sort of knight in shining armour and fights a demon with a massive cock and uh, ejaculates everywhere and there's vampires and there's a, the Risen played by Cy Henty, blah 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 uh, and uh, we just got the license to, to use uh, London Make Believe by Bucks Fizz <laughs> 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 So, Cheryl Baker's gonna love that. Uh, 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 the animation, I should say, uh, was uh, created by Mark Stewart, who's an amazing animator. He did the uh, intro to Jonathan Zorin's Wyvern Hill. He painted uh, the poster for Video Shop Tales of Terror. Absolutely, absolutely genius. He's doing an animation for Lauren's uh, animation. Uh, loads and loads of great stuff. Um, just enjoy it. It's very Teddy Gilliam. Uh, I don't know what else to say. Uh, so I'm not saying anything. Thank you. Chris actually got me into the witches via the song um, and then got me into the film with Tony. So you'll see my ugly mug quite often in it, unfortunately. Um, apologies about the singing, that's all I can say, really. Um, if you hate it, Hello everybody. Uh, yeah, thanks to Tony for explaining the film to me. I've never understood it in that much depth before. <laughs> um, just, yeah, huge thanks for letting us have a go at this. He's taken something that started as a well, it was supposed to be a terrible in-joke, wasn't it? Yeah. An acoustic folk song with about four lines of song, and it's turned into well, what you'll hear in a minute. So thanks to Tony and Chloe, and next thing we know it's open in the film, or oh, it's in the film, so oh, thank you very much. And Alex Churchard did the sound effects, so he directed, co-directed uh, Mosaic, which you'll see next. So. Uh, okay. <laughs> 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 